So Team Scritch, welcome back to the Scritch Has Gone Wild channel and thanks again for watching. Um, and things did get a little wild today. We'll get there in a second. Um, the weather's been great for us since we've been on the trail. We've had two major thunderstorms. Uh, both of them were at night. The first one um, wasn't a big deal. We were able to dry out the tent right away. And the second one had some crazy lightning and thunder for about an hour. I did take a video of that. I'll try to get it on here. And uh, it's inside the tent, so it just lit up the tent like crazy. Um, and was actually pretty loud, kept us awake. But once again, we had good weather the next day. Sunshine was able to dry out the tent without any issues. Um, today, however, we were walking and we knew it was going to get a bit colder. We had high around maybe 44. And as we were coming to Muskrat Creek Shelter, which is mile 81 on the trail, about 1.30 it started snowing. By the time we got into camp, everything was covered with snow. The temperature was dropping. And so we got here about 2.30 and we got the tent up as quickly as we could. And you can see that we are snug in our sleeping bag. And it took us a little while to get warm, but we're warm and fairly comfortable. And I'm not worried about tonight uh, as far as staying warm, although the temperature is going to get down to about um, 28 degrees tonight. So we'll be snuggling. The good thing is we've got a King Solomon 15 degree sleeping bag, which only means it's going to help you survive at 15 degrees. It's not, it's not saying you're going to be comfortable cozy, but it's a double sleeping bag, which is our, to our advantage because we can use body heat and we can snuggle. And so going to turn the camera around a little bit. Not sure how well you can see it, but that is all snow and sleet on the top of the tent right now. And we know this is a possibility. Anytime you get up in the mountains, it's always a possibility. So that's why you got to make sure you have layers and you have some, um, some good clothing and a good sleeping bag that can keep you warm. However, we are not prepared to do this for an extended period of time. So we'll have to make a decision tomorrow. And the decision will be um, either we hike five miles and we get into town or we will hold up here and probably have a zero day, which means we'll be in our sleeping bag all day. So we'll have to decide that in the morning, depending on what the weather looks like. Monday, we're supposed to be back up in the 50s. And by Tuesday, we're supposed to be back in the 60s for highs. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to hand the camera off to Jesse now. And I'm going to go outside and show you guys what it looks like outside. Give me one second. Hi, Team Scritch. It took me about an hour to warm up. We got a little wet coming in because the snow flurries were crazy and we are at 4,600 feet in elevation. Um, I honestly don't think it got up to 44 degrees today <laughs> with the wind chill. It was much colder than that. And um, we're not the only crazy people out here. There is about at least a dozen or two dozen other people out here just as crazy as we are. So um, feeling pretty comfortable with the crazies. And Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it is outside. Here you go, bud. Okay, here it is. This is what we got on day nine. And you can see all the tents that are here with us. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a bunch more that you can't see. And here's our little setup. And so you can see um, we're going to be in there all night and we're going to be in that sleeping bag. So we'll give you an update as soon as we get it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the team. Thanks for your prayers because uh, we certainly need them every step of the way. And until next time, Scritch is out.